Today we're going to be taking a look at animating text using the ProType Titler in Sony Vegas 10 and a quick look at Sony Vegas 11. Let's first start by clicking on Media Generators. Then in the menu we're going to select ProType Titler. This will bring up our presets. At this point we're going to select the empty transparent background and drag it into our timeline. This will give us the media generator window. And as you can see down here at the bottom, there are various presets. We are gonna to go to collections. In this drop down menu, you can see that we have various types of selections that we can choose from. And you can see their various animations. Today we're gonna to go with drop split and we're just gonna drag that down into the media generator timeline. Now we'll return back to the animation area and click collections to clear the drop down menu from the screen. Now to edit our text, we're actually going to go into the timeline until all of the text has been presented. Now if you double click, that's going to put you in the text edit mode, which we don't want at this point. So just click on the red edit text bar at the top or click escape. Now we can move the text down here towards the bottom. And the reason why I moved it down here is to illustrate a point that I ran into when I was trying to do this text. Now we can double click to go into the text edit mode. Any changes that you will make to the text itself will require that all the text be highlighted. Once that's done, you're ready to type in your text. You may not be able to make out the gray boxes that comprise the generator. This is where the text is actually going to be seen. So you want to ensure that your text will fit within these boundaries. Those boundaries can be adjusted, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to simply adjust the text size itself. Now that we have the size we like, let's take a look. Now you may notice these gray blurry streaks. This was because I had placed the text too low for the generator to properly render. To correct this, I'm going to click on the red edit text menu bar at the top or simply hit escape. This will provide me with the placement tool. Now you may notice in the background in the preview window, the grayish streaks have disappeared. This lets me know that the text has now been properly placed. So let's have a look. I've not gone into a great deal of detail concerning the various settings or attributes of the generator window as I simply wanted to get you straight to the point of creating the animation text itself. This will allow you to explore the various options so you can reach the results you're looking for. Now we're in Pro 11 and we're going to select Media Generators and Pro Type Titler. We're going to drag the empty transparency down into the timeline. This will give us our media generator window. And as you can see, there are no presets on Sony Vegas Pro 11. This was one of several different presets that I've noticed that are absent from Pro 11. Although Pro 11 is very robust and has more of a hands-on feel to it, these presets really were convenient time savers. However, with a little time and tweaking, you can generate the same type of animations that you saw in the presets. I hope you guys found this animation outline helpful. If so, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for future tutorials.